Welcome to Google My Maps, Part 7, Directions. My name is Lisa Nowakowski, and you can find me on Twitter at Noah Techie. One of, the neat one of the neat features on Google My Maps is the ability to create a route, so a driving route, a biking route, or a walking route. There are two ways that I can do this. Looking up here at the icons, I have the Draw a Line option. So if I click on that, you'll notice that after Add a Line or a Shape, I have draw, Add a Driving Route, Add a Biking Route, or Add a Walking Route. The other way I can do that is this arrow icon next to it, which allows me to add directions. So let's first look at the drawing of a, a line. So I'm going to add driving route. So I'm going to click on that, and you'll notice that it adds new layer. So I can just start clicking anywhere on my map. Say I want to go from San Francisco or San Diego, excuse me, to Bakersfield, to Fresno, to Sacramento, over to San Francisco, and down to San Jose. All I need to do is click on the actual cities, and it gives me the driving route in order to go. And remember to double click at the end. So here it is, and in, you'll notice here on the left it gives you the directions of where you're starting and where you're ending, where A and B are and going through everything. If I click on these three dots here, you'll notice that I now have the option of step-by-step -step directions. So if I click on that, it gives me the directions of where I need to go. Similar thing is true with the add directions, this arrow. So if I click on that, it does open up a new layer for me as well. This time I get to type in the locations that I want to go to. So this time maybe I want to start off at the Tech Museum in San Jose and maybe I'm driving up to the MoMA in San Francisco. Uh, clicking off this one layer here so we can clearly see this is the route that we would take. Again, if I wanted to know the step-by-step -step directions, there it is. My options are right here, the last one within the three dots. And just by choosing it, it opens up a new pop-out window with all of the directions there for me. So if I wanted to change the directions from driving directions to, say, biking directions, I just simply click on the blue car and my options appear, my transportation options appear. Here's the bicycle and here's the walking route. So what would the route, walking route look like? Slightly different. Click the X. Again, I have the step-by-step -step directions if I need them. And that's directions. Happy mapping!